Friends, I should say this is a very wonderful session for the main reason that uh, this session has uh, uh, got uh, very great uh, personalities from diversified field. Of course, two belong to the same uh, field, strategic uh, defense and strategic department. And uh, their approach is something uh, very novel and also very innovative. Let me uh, highlight some of the points very briefly, very, very briefly, uh, which our speakers have uh, said. Uh, Madam Gidanjali has given a wonderful observation, especially when she talked about uh, Sindhu Thai. Uh, we were all overwhelmed. I, I was, I mean, uh, I was about to cry, in fact, I should say. Because that was a very touching thrilling experience. This is practical philosophy. And I felt that she should be in our session, first session. And that experience is something really remarkable. And Anka Vandu, Madam was pointing out that life has a meaning. As a philosopher, I always ask this question whether life has a meaning. And sometimes we say that life has no meaning. Meaning is given to you, given to life by you. That's all. As such, life has no meaning. But I, I, I am very much sometimes frustrated. And yesterday, I mean, I'm telling you the truth. Yesterday, I told my wife that I want to die. <laughs> when my younger daughter, who is married, of course, I'm looking after her uh, son, grandson. So she heard this and she shouted at me, why are you making such statements? I said that, you know, I think I have completed everything and you know, so it's a high time for us to die, both me and my wife. Then my daughter insisted, no, you have got some more responsibilities. I said, I got two daughters, both of them got married. And I've seen my uh, grandsons also. So what else I should see? There is something which you have to offer to the society. Of course, this is something very important. And when, when Madam made a reference to the statement, namely life as a meaning, and there is always we get inspiration from others. From Sindhu Thai, I got a lot of inspiration. I don't know about uh, the young students here. Because this is something, you know, that is when, when Andamari or Kashtatla Rukumbo the Kuda and the Mavlo and the Samudai to Kaga sail but I went to Mindra and the Nenikin and the Ninai Purikere, other than the Mika Weir and the Yenam. Other one, I am I'm grateful to you, madam, for inspiring, inspiring all of us and especially our students, I think, are very much inspired. And we, we want you to make some statement here towards the end with Swamiji's permission, I'm saying. And uh, of course, Madam has pointed out different kinds of conflict and uh, lots of things. She's uh, talked about uh, systems of conflict. And also one point which struck me was how one should respect the other, especially how we have to respect the opponent views. This is something very remarkable. I have noted down a lot of points, but for want of time, I just cut short. Thank you very much, Madam. Then my young uh, good friend, uh, Professor Ganesh uh, Tangaraja, right? Tangaraja, uh, Ganesh Tangaraja has uh, made a very beautiful presentation. And he started by saying that how Indian philosophy and Western philosophy, there is a difference. That is in Western philosophy start with, uh, with violence. That is a very, very important uh, uh, point to be noted. But whereas Indian philosophy is based on the concept of love, this is a, 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 a very significant, uh, if you read uh, the Indian philosophical system thoroughly, you would understand how our systems, Indian philosophical system, talk about love and compassion. He has also talked about how peace is not easy, easy to reach. It's how difficult it is to reach and how, what are the challenges, etc. And he has also pointed out that right education is very much essential. And uh, I am very grateful to him for making this uh, wonderful presentation. And our Major General, sir, sir, you are thrilled by your talk. Why? Because, why? Because you could combine 
both spiritual and military. This is something, in fact, eh, I am always uh, interested uh, uh, to listen to uh, the defense and strategic uh, uh, people uh, because you know they they have a different area altogether. The world which they are part, the live world, to use uh, the phrase, the live world of uh, the military people is something different. We don't see your world. Of course, you see our world, but we are unable to see your world because you live in a different setup altogether. My uh, uh, brother-in-law, uh, who was uh, serving in uh, uh, Indian Army as a military uh, doctor, he used to say that how, you know, in, in, in war path, it seems that when somebody shoots and your companion or your friend will die on the spot. And it seems you will not have even, you can't spend even one minute to look at him because no, the other, the opponent force is coming. So such a life is something really terrible for them. But you are so kind enough to tell us the other part, namely the spiritual part. This is really remarkable, sir. And uh, I, I have also noted down a lot of points and uh, you you have pointed out. And finally, you your uh, understanding of uh, how there is uh, uh, a similarity between the internal war and external war. This is also very uh, important because internal war it can be seen from the spiritual side and very beautifully you showed the parallel. So this is uh, really, we are very grateful to you. And also you uh, pointed out the significance of the guru. Uh, our uh, guru is our Swamiji and uh, and uh, when we are giving uh, this uh, concept of guru, I was uh, reminded uh, a phrase from um, uh, Kandaranabudi, where it is said, Guruvai, Varuvai, Arulvai, Kugani. In fact, Swamiji also written a small uh, pamphlet uh, or a small uh, book uh, on this Guruvai, Varuvai, Arulvai, Kugani. So that parallel is something really remarkable, military as well as uh, the spiritual. And uh, I, I never expected that spiritual part from you in the sense of because the military officers are always strict and they have their way of approaching the, I mean, um, the entire cosmos is different, but we are very much benefited by you, sir. Thank you. Then finally, my good friend, uh, Professor Samitaji, of course, uh, his uh, presentation of uh, Sri Lankan experience is something uh, really remarkable. And he has also shown us that how the welfare system in uh, Sri Lanka has to be uh, managed properly. This is, I think, uh, is a very, very important point which we have to take into account. And I also feel that the friendship between uh, between between Sri Lanka and, uh, and uh, India should uh, grow further so that uh, we can lead from the South Asian uh, nations, we can uh, lead the entire globe. Then finally, you have pointed out that uh, the nonviolent communication is highlighted, how it is highlighted in uh, Sri Lanka. This is a very important point. And, uh, that uh, and, and one more point which uh, struck me was that uh, you are pointing out that how the youth should not be misled by the selfish motivation. This is something very important. And uh, we are very grateful to you, sir, for coming over here all the way from Sri Lanka and giving us a very beautiful talk. Thank you very much. And uh, one, one request uh, to our Swamiji. Swamiji, I would say that all the papers Till now that were discussed or lectured were excellent and you have to take the responsibility of publishing this because this i i always uh, fight with uh, our swamiji fight in the sense don't take it in another way i always tell the, so many seminars we conduct here at least uh, for the past uh, 15 years i have been coming and participating and organizing seminars but what is the outcome we are not bringing out any volume or any book regarding that. So simply we come here to talk and then vanish. But that should not be the case. At least for this seminar, this conference, we have to bring out a volume because such wonderful scholars are here. It's very rare. Even, even in university, we don't get such scholars because there are a lot of uh, uh, difficulties. You know, <laughs> he's from a uh, university you know, college. So, but Swamiji has took all the pain to gather international scholars for this uh, conference. So you have to take the responsibility. Of course, we are with you and we, whatever you say, we are, we are ready to do.
Okay, okay, no problem, Swamiji. If you give that email, I'll be happy to contact them and get the paper. Because I'm very particular that this is a wonderful program which you have conducted. Of course, all the programs were like that. So this has to be brought out. And moreover, it has got a special significance, peace and conflict resolution. Thank you very much.